Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Fedor Emelianenko versus Tim Johnson. So how I see this fight right here between these two is, um, yeah, so you got Fedor, the greatest heavyweight of all time in MMA history. You might say Stipe is the greatest UFC heavyweight of all time or Cain Velasquez or maybe even a stretch Daniel Cormier. But, or I don't know, who else would you throw in there? Dang, maybe you would throw in Noguera, but... Fedor, you got to say, look at his legacy, look at his, what he's done and still somewhat relevant to this point at being this far past his prime. Fedor, without a doubt, greatest MMA heavyweight of all time. No argument. No argument. The greatest heavyweight of all time, MMA. Stipe may or may not have been able to beat him prime for prime, but a lot of times we compare legacy. You don't be saying like, look at a guy 100 years back and say, oh, this guy present day will beat him. Probably would. You got 100 years to evolve Maybe with MMA has only been like 10, 15 years to evolve, but still, it's a similar thing. So you don't do prime for prime necessarily. You do error for error, what they did and who they were in that era and who they were historically. And also you measure up some of the wins. And a lot of Fedor wins still kind of hold weight to this day. And to this day, yeah. And even back then, hold even more weight. So more wins, more simple wins. And like, especially you go out of that, but this is a whole, turn to a whole Fader back story thing. But Fader, greatest head with all time. And I'm saying all this and giving all this props about thinking Tim Johnson going to knock him out. Fader got, still got the fast hands, even being this old. He's still the faster man. Still light on his toes. Still swing. Still bang. Still got, probably got the better boxing. But who has he really beat? I mean, he did beat um, Chael Sonnen. But Chael Sonnen, that's like a middleweight. That got like 20 losses. Not super impressive. And did struggle with Chael. Beat um, Fader. I mean, I said Fader. He beat Frank Mayer. Got dropped by him. Then dropped him and. Fader, he got hit like he got hit, but Frank Mayer didn't get up, so knock Frank Mayer out. And then um, Rant, Fat Page. He didn't even fight Rampage. He didn't fight Quentin Rampage Jackson. He didn't fight Quentin Jackson. Matter of fact, he didn't fight Rampage. He didn't fight Rampage Jackson. He didn't fight Quentin Rampage Jackson. He fought Fat Page. Rampage came in there with, like, he had a octopus in his belly. He hit, hit Rampage and his belly pulled him down. That's all that happened. He Rampage in the head and Rampage leaned over and his gut pulled him down. That was literally the fight. Oh, no, no, no joking. That's just flat out what happened. Rampage was fat as a mug out there, looked pregnant, came in there, the worst shape of his whole career, and Fader beat him. Rampage, even that with a pregnant belly, is still one of a, a very hard fight for anyone, and still all props to Fader for beating Fat Page, but it's not a solid win. It's not like a fight you fought a true heavyweight. And at this point, Tim Johnson looking real good, the best of his career. And um, I think I lean to Tim Johnson. He'll be the bigger man, he'll be the younger man. And he's riding a better steam, even though he's coming off a loss and, and, and like, and Fader is coming off a win. Tim Johnson has a better momentum. He, like, stopped Tyrell, forcing a big prospect in his division. Got his win back over, um, or got his eventual loss to Shet Congo in a very close fight. And then um, went out there, he lost to um, the current champion. Like, he fought for a title fight, fought five rounds hard. Actually had some moments in that fight, so he's looking real good. I think wrestling-wise, Tim Johnson has always had pretty decent wrestling defense. So I feel like if Fader wants to go with that part, it's, Matter of fact, even at this point, Fader don't really want to wrestle with nobody. He, like a lot of these other old fighters, they don't want to wrestle no more. Like, it hurt, like it probably hurts them to even do those same moves. Like, probably hurt their hip. They probably got all these, like, 20 hip replacements and this and that. Bad knees, bad shoulders, bad backs. So, they're like, eh, I ain't trying to wrestle with nobody. I'm just trying to knock people out. So, but even, like, if he wanted to go there, it'd be a struggle. The fact that he'd probably only go on 10, maybe one or two takedowns if he does. Matter of fact, probably one if he does, even in a, if it was, this was a five round fight, which is the three. Probably one takedown. Like, Fader not going to be really looking for no takedown. He's going to look there at the box, be fast, and try to tag the slower, bigger Tim Johnson up. But I just think Tim Johnson will be able to corner him, land big shots on him, put his weight on him, lean on him against the cage, tire Fader up, and probably actually corner Fader, tie him up, or probably land a clean shot on Fader into the clinch, have him hurt, drag him to the ground, and just beat on him, weigh on him, and beat on him. And I feel like that's going to happen, like, in the second round, he's going to stop Fedor in the second round. So, in the case of he's going to try to corner the smaller, older fighter. Yes, he's going to be faster. Yes, he's going to be always dangerous. But Tim Johnson, I see, will be able to corral him, avoid taking too much damage from these quicker hands, let the fight settle down, and start to, you know, just touch the older Fader. Older, weathered down, chinny, and just touch the older man. And just any little shot he touched with that, all that weight he carried behind him is going to really affect Fedor, probably put him on skates. Like I said, get him in close, corral him. Lean in, crack him, then enter the clinch, drag him to the ground, and TKO him in that second round. So in this fight, I have Tim Johnson via second round TKO.